Hi, this is Morten Nielsen, and I'm going to demonstrate scripting in WASP Engineering. And uh, the scripts are found up under Tools, Scripts, and then the selection of uh, different scripts. And um, my plan is to use this one turbulence report for selected site and selected wind. And this is something which needs one site, height, and a wind, and then it will report to a, a Word document. So uh, I'll first close this again and select this wind and this uh, just one side and then this height here. And now we are going to see what the script is doing. Now it's calculating and uh, it's first it's asking uh, which spectrum type uh, for the turbulence uh, are we going to use? Should it be zero for Kaimal, one for Simulant Scalman, or two for ESTU. So we say one, no we say zero here, and uh, then um, it will start to uh, do something, do some calculations, and then I know that it's also uh, starting a Word document, and it has already uh, reported it. It says uh, we are using this site, this wind uh, and then there's some more information this is the terminus model we used and then it's reporting to a table like this and here are some calculations and here are the results um, so that's fine I don't want to save it uh, but in instead I'm going to uh, to find uh, where this uh, script is, is located and uh, I know that it's here in the, we have the location where the, uh, the WASP uh, software is here and then there's something called internal scripts, WASP engineering and uh, uh, all the standard scripts which we see here are inside this uh, zip file here and then there's three extra ones there they are some scripts which I have downloaded from the from the home page so I'll go in here in the standard collection. Uh, I'll right click on this zip document and uh, open it with the Windows Explorer. And uh, the script we are using is uh, this must be this one turbulence for selected side and selected selected wind. This is the the one we are using, and uh, I'll take a copy and go outside here and then place it here and then I'll give it a new name like, like this and um, then my plan is to edit it and, and change it a little bit so uh, I'll go open it with an editor and uh, it's starting with some XML tags here and down here we have some visual basic code and uh, up here is for instance it's, an, it's a word report we are documented into and then the objects we are using uh, is a site and uh, you have a height and a wind and then I know that in this line here there's uh, this description here that is uh, that is actually the title which are shown inside WASP Engineering and uh, I'll say change it to something else uh, then there's also comment here uh, and could change that too and uh, let's all oh, let's just try to to see if this works normally when you edit this um, it's uh, there's no debugging facility so it's best to take small changes and, and see uh, that you have uh, achieve something and then uh, improve the scripts little by little. 
So we go back to Wasp Engineering and then see if we can find this new uh, script here in the collection. Um, and actually it's not here in the standard collection, we go to to customs here and then here's the new script. And uh, this was uh, this was the title of it and this was this comment which appeared here. Um, and we actually we have not changed anything so it would behave just as as before. Um, perhaps I should also say that uh, the way that Wasp Engineering finds these scripts is defined here in options and then there's this file operations and then here's a path to where we where we store all the scripts here Wasp internal scripts, Wasp Engineering. You could um, you could uh, place your uh, own scripts uh, somewhere else perhaps because there's a risk that maybe if you install a new version of Wasp Engineering then maybe it's, it's dust so it's safer to have it somewhere else but just for this demonstration we will just keep it here. Um, and then uh, I think we should go back and do some more corrections to the scripts like um, it's starting a, a, a Word document here and uh, then uh, it's uh, if you read this here and study it slowly then you can uh, say that this is actually the title which uh, appears at the top so uh, I'll just change this and then um, there was something that uh, it's doing some calculation with turbulence it's um, saying you have the spectrum type and then it's uh, defining different spectrum types. That, uh, maybe I want this spectrum type to always be uh, uh, Simu and Scanlan. And then I can uh, can uh, see up here how the spectrum is chosen. It was uh, something that we opened this input box which uh, where the user specified what it is. Um, I think I'll always have it the same here. And uh, I'll just uh, change it to this. Always Simu and Scanlan. And then uh, I think I'll just delete this. I could also comment it. If I want to comment it, then I would put uh, put a, a small uh, quote like this. And then that will turn into a comment. But it's faster to just to delete it. And uh, uh, now I have made this change and then I'll see that it, it's working. I go to scripts, select custom and my script here and I try to run it. It's doing the calculations again because it is a new turbulence model and then uh, it's reporting here again and then yes, it maybe you notice that it didn't did not ask for the turbulence model, and then it became this here. And uh, I have changed the title. And um, if I uh, continue, then I could also uh, change some of these calculations here. But um, to do that, then we would need to study the the scripts uh, in in more detail. And uh, I would say it's uh, it's uh, not so difficult to go in and and find a script uh, and then change it just a little bit. But if you want to uh, to uh, program new things, then uh, you need to study this um, help file with documentation of the scripts. And uh, also maybe you should know a little bit about Visual Basics.